The cat strolls down Artist Alley. Here's your look at the DC Collectibles, DC Artist Alley, Joe Ledbetter Catwoman statue. Inspired by popular comic convention experience, DC Artist Alley is an artist-focused limited edition designer vinyl figure line that merges indie design with the most iconic characters in the DC universe. A skilled and multifaceted creator, Joe Ledbetter, aka J. Led, has an experience as an artist, as an illustrator, and perhaps most importantly for Artist Alley, a toy designer. Born from humble origins in underground art shows and influenced by 1980s video games, animation, and skateboarding, he's risen to prominence thanks to his crisp, bold lines, a vibrant palette, and work that is socially conscious, reflective, and human. All right, my colleagues of the interweb, if you don't mind me calling you colleagues, I consider you all colleagues, taking the Ultra Megatron to the very top, the very top ear of Catwoman, you're looking at a statue that's standing seven inches exactly. Taking a quick pause to skip over, over two centimeters, you're looking at a statue standing 17.8 centimeters tall. For some scale comparisons and comparisons to other Joe Ledbetter pieces, here we have Batman. And we've already had a look at Batman in a previous review. Didn't see that review? Shame, shame on you. Feel free to go back, tra-la-la back to the Batman that we already had a look at on this channel. But in the meantime, here's a comparison next to Catwoman on the right. You'll see that they do share the very similar Joe Ledbetter design elements. Of course, taking two different, completely different characters and giving him his own various spins on the characters themselves using his style of artwork. Yes, well, Batman flies away. We've already had a look at that statue. We'll have a look at Catwoman. Now, we spin the statue around and present it on the back. A limited release. Mark this down on your notebooks. A limited release of 3,000 copies. Now this one so happens to be an artist proof, an artist proof number 12 to be exact. This was kindly provided by the folks over at DC Collectibles, the showcase here on this channel, so thank you very much for that. An artist proof though out of 12, it would though be out of 3,000 copies that these statues are limited by. Don't let what you believe to be a higher number fool you. 3,000 copies do vanish rather quickly, especially I find with the Artist Alley. The Artist Alley that I wanted to get was Sho Morassi's, uh, for example, Harley Quinn, and I waited and waited and didn't get a chance to grab it. Now getting that one is a little bit harder to come by, so you may want to jump on board, get these while the, the getting is good. There's 3,000 copies, my friends, vanishes quite quickly, and then, like I said, you'll be having to go probably on eBay and other sources to source out a copy of this. Don't be like one of those people that regret it later. I'm that guy right there. Having, though, a look at Joe Ledbetter, another artist featured in the Artist Alley. Here we have his take on Catwoman. There's something charming, I have to admit, about this. I mean, equally so, there was something charming as well about the Batman, but I really do like this Catwoman, I have to admit. Kind of reminds me of something I would have seen from a Hanna-Barbera cartoon, or even one better, it seems like something I would have seen from, what was it, SWAT Cats? 
cartoon called SWAT Cats, I think it was called SWAT Cats, but it kind of looks like something that you would see from maybe a superhero cat cartoon. Possibly something that DC Collectibles consider doing, DC Comics, I should say, could consider doing for a future cartoon. You imagine of all the characters, if they were kind of represented by their own animals. Catwoman would be obviously a cat, Batman would be a bat, Penguin would be a penguin, and well, Robin could easily be a bird. Some of the other characters might have a little bit more of a struggle, like a Mad Hatter or a Joker, but I guess we could play around with that for a little bit. Um, I like the fact that they've given her more the gray, classic costume of Catwoman. That's a lot of C's, I just realized that right now. Boldly making statements with the bold black outlining that Joe Ledbetter is best known for. It does make its appearance around its tail, Catwoman's tail that is. And wrapped around Catwoman's tail even then on top of that is a jewel, I kind of like that. It's wrapped around and you know just tied off around the end of her tail. On the one side, it's completely finished as well. We've already seen that on that side, but then you've got the jewel, the gemstone feature on the front. I'm probably guessing that's a diamond. That's my, that's my guess. Bold black outlining also makes its way around her ears. I'm trying my best not to cover over top of her face. There's a close-up look at her face. You can see these little fanglets sticking down. Uh, funny enough, though, it's not symmetrical on the other side. There's only one tooth on the other side, kind of like that. You got the two teeth on the one side, one to teeth, one tooth <clears throat> on the other side. Some whiskers, no actual whiskers, but we've got little areas on the jowl, I believe that is for the cat. Little areas in which the whiskers would be growing and sprouting their way out. Any of the areas that normally would be given a bold black treatment on a black figure or black component fig parts to this figure of Catwoman, they've swapped out the black and brought in a bold purple. Loving that. The purple is making its way around the eye area, kind of giving it a sinister plot scheming stare, if you will. And there's also little, uh, little areas around the snout, little purple areas there also on the sides. I really like that a lot. Gets that treatment also around the knuckles section, anywhere in which there's a hinge, for example, like the elbow and around the hand area. And even like the individual fingers also get separated, parted from one another, not by a C, but instead a little strip of purple. Coloring on like this, like I said, on the Catwoman is fantastic. Been always a big fan of Joe Ledbetter's work. Been primarily really introduced to his work through the folks at Kid Robot, who was producing a lot of Joe Ledbetter uh, vinyl figures. So this is kind of like not my first entryway. It's not my first rodeo when it came to Joe Ledbetter. Why are we looking at the claw? I'm going to talk about that in a second. Not my first entry. I just want to finish my train of thought. But certainly now that I know of his artwork, I can kind of appreciate it, I think, a little bit more kind of seeing now what his spin is on DC characters. Okay, now we t talk a little bit about the claw. Very sharp, sharp claws. Not physically necessarily sharp. You don't have to worry that it's going to start slicing open fingers. Ooh, that's not good. But it is definitely looking very apparently sharp when you look at the statue. Um, the hand looks big. But I guess if you look at this hand, on the other hand, this hand is closed shut. You would imagine that if somehow claws could be hidden in there, this would be the size of the claw that would look like when it sprouted its wings, spread itself out. We got a little pink bit of the pink pad there, which seems to be the same purple that makes its way on all those little divider points that we talked about before. There's the underside of her feet, signed off there by the artist J. Led, an abbreviation, abbreved, if you will, by Joe Ledbetter. And I like the fact that it's got like a little purple finish there on the underside. Yes, there's certainly not a lot I would find fault with these particular statue releases. Sort of one of those things like we had already discussed with the Batman. Somebody says, what, what, what discussion did we have with the Batman? Yeah, you didn't see the video. Go back and have a look at it, you silly goon. Uh, what we had discussed, though, is that maybe not everyone's going to have a, their fancy to be picking up this feline fatale uh, in this sort of interpretation, given her kind of a cartoonier, kind of, you know, cat-like, literally cat-like style that Joe Ledbetter is best known for, kind of giving very much an animated vibe to these characters. But I got to say, there's something charming about this cat. Specifically as well, I love the fact that there's this blue, something of which the didn't have to necessarily be there they could have used a different color but that blue also even just pops there's a lot of elements to the statue that must I must admit rather do pop on the statue I think it's quite nice 
I don't know if I would say it. I like it more than Batman, for example. Reaching off camera once again. Where is he going to? Where is this reviewer going to? There's the Batman once again. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more, in all honesty. The Bat's pretty cool, I have to admit. But there's something to be said about Catwoman here done by Joe Ledbetter. There's something charming about this. Although both of them, to be fair, were rather charming pieces to start off with. If you're a fan of Joel Ledbetter and you're a fan of DC Comics, then this new statue lineup under the banner of DC Artist Alley seems to be a bit of a no-brainer. You'll probably want to be picking these ones up for yourself. If you are fairly new to Joel Ledbetter, hopefully reviews like this have been an entryway into perhaps introducing his work to people that may, aren't, may not be familiar with his stuff. Again, my entryway into looking at Joe Ledbetter's work really came from the Kid Robot line. He had done a various lineup of various vinyl blind boxes, all of which were appealing and kind of in that cartoon style is what we're looking at here with Catwoman. So it may not be everyone's cup of tea. I stressed that before when we had a look at Batman. But again, I hope reviews like this can maybe introduce and through that maybe gauge some new interest from you guys the collectors again a nice fun spin with these looks like something i would have seen from hanna barbera now as a statue and i that's maybe one of the other things i really like about joe ledbetter's work it very much reminds me of like the old vintage hanna barbera cartoons that i used to grow up and watch as a kid if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself the dc collectibles dc artist alley catwoman by joe ledbetter should be available now at your local comic book stores so source them out if you'd like to add these ones to your collection wait a minute 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 you can't find a local comic book store in your area oh silly bananas you can go to www.comicshoplocator.com no, I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, put in your information, your zip code or postal code or wherever else you find. You put your information down for your residence to decide where you are versus, say, your neighbor. Put that information down. You should be able to find a local comic book store in your area. You're very welcome. It's the least I could do. Uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to have some more videos coming your way coming your way make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's located down below this video or you can also find it at the corner of this video as well it's a little square box that says subscribe you can click that subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already because we're going to have a whole lot of other statue reviews and other collectibles coming your way i don't think i've let the cat out of the bag by saying that oh i had to do it i i, I i'm sorry i had to do it okay i'll stop thanks for watching as you always do guys thanks for commenting down below and i'll see you guys next time